I don't know what to do with this story. I don't know where it goes. Somebody, if Salty Cracker hasn't done a video on this, somebody tell, this video is more to get Salty to talk about, Salty knows all the, the topics. He, he already knows about this. I guarantee it to you. Here's the headline. Actions. Supervisor Christie. Chair Bronson, I'd like to request and staff his business 2022 elections. Supervisor Christie. Chair Bronson, I'd like to request elections. Ready for his close up, Arizona lawmaker 45, I'm 45 as well, who woke for, who, <laughs> who woke, <laughs> he, he did woke. This is woke. No, I don't know if it's woke, but he, who woke for Obama. <laughs> Who worked for Obama is left red faced. It's you know you, you're this. Is, he's on a Zoom call, so he's red faced. Why? After speedo clad friend, 24, struts through his cruise ship cabin, his cruise ship cabin. So they're on a cruise ship. They chilling, and an official Zoom meet meeting and flaunts muscles. <laughs> So what happened is this dude, I don't know if this is my first time. I saw the headline. I'm like, let me just do it live. It's not a serious topic. So what, whatever happens, happens. In Arizona, I do like how Daily Mail does these bullet points after the headline. That is dope. Daily Mail is better than <laughs> most of the outlets we have here in America. And an Arizona Democrat went viral after a scantily clad man interrupted his Zoom. The incident occurred during the meeting of the Pima County Board. Because I, I know all these counties in Arizona now because of the whole Katie Hobbs controversy. Supervisor Matt, Dr. Matt Hines, was zooming into the meeting from a cruise. Two hours into the meeting, damn, that's a long meeting. A man in a Speedo and a vest wandered in. Hines, 45, he said the man is his 24-year-old travel companion. Okay, I mean, bro, I, you do you, have fun. I mean, it is awkward though. And to say the least, a half-naked man in Speedos popped into the background of an Arizona lawmaker Zoom call during the meeting of the Pima County Board of Supervisors. I'm trying to imagine myself on the Zoom meeting and you're seeing everybody on the squares and you're looking at his square and you're seeing like is that a half naked man in a speedo in a vest flexing his muscles see that's what you get messing around with a 24 year old see when you're 24 you don't you know like if he was messing around with the 44 year old the dude would have been like oh shoot my bad and he would have kind of you know backpedaled out of the video when you're 18 19 20 24 you're like, oh, this is awkward, but you embrace the moment and you know, you know, you're young, you're probably more in shape. I I, was, I don't know if I'm gonna show the video, but you know, you kind of like, oh, this is let me this be kind of funny. I hope I hope that wasn't a paid travel companion by this doctor, because that way I want my money back. If you've got a paled if you've got a paid travel companion who's going to act a fool and get you embarrassed on in front of everybody, you better go get your money back. <laughs> it was a 9 a.m. meeting. See, that's why you don't have two-hour Zoom meetings, number one, because you might end up like a Tubin or whatever. There's always something embarrassing that could, ha could happen. He, you know what? He's going to push. He's going to be a lawmaker pushing because Microsoft Teams has avatar. Work doesn't happen in vacuum. You need to be great at sync, async, in-person, as well as remote collaboration. Customers will be able to build their avatars in a way that reflects their identity and can represent them in meetings, giving them the flexibility and choice to be present without ever having to turn on a camera. So you wouldn't see anything in the background. You, you can go on a Zoom call and everyone can be an avatar and it tracks your eyes and expressions a little bit and you don't have to worry about backgrounds anymore. That's where we're going. Because all this embarrassing stuff happens. You know, these people in Congress, and this is a state person, but in Congress, they, they before, you know, with Pelosi, last couple years, they were barely ever there. Even Marjorie Taylor Greene, at the end of the year, put her vote in, no, on the omnibus 
on the omnibus package and she was somewhere else. She was like, uh, pan, uh, she cited the pandemic rules. It was like, I just did a, a vote no from proxy while you're on a boat or a yacht or you're, you got a 24 year old travel companion helping you with your bananas in the morning. You don't have to be there and vote. And we need to get back to, we need to get off the Zoom stuff. It, it, that needs to stop. That's not how we rolled back in the day. And this is what happens. <laughs> he played it off good too. He played it off real good. You see how serious his face is? He was like, oh, shh. He was like, oh, shh. <laughs> what? His shirt looks, oh, no, I thought his shirt looked sweaty as his shadow. Oh, man, he looks serious as a heart attack. Though, though, I hope after he was done with that Zoom call, well, after he went, he probably went on, he went off camera and went on, on mute. But if he wasn't on mute, you should, I, I don't, I'm not condoning it, but it probably would have been hands. Hands were probably free. I'm not condoning that. I'm not saying that's good. But the look on his face, he looked like he was about to go hands free. The Democrat said that he was baffled with how much attention the clip generated. Bruh. Hines explained that he's on a 10 day Ritz Carlton cruise. Must be nice with a travel companion. Uh, a f a friend. But you say he just a friend. Hines said his friend, who is more than 20 years, ah, who cares? He's a, he's, he's a grown man, had been out on the balcony of their room. Yeah, that's what you do when you're on a, you know, you got baller money, you're on a balcony somewhere. He came back in to get a shirt and then he, he jumped on camera real quick. The good doctor did not identify the companion, who I, I don't want him to identify. He added, we're not dating. We're not boyfriends, we're not engaged, we're not married. Okay, I didn't need all that information. Heinz, let her la Heinz later labored the point saying, leave my friend alone. I don't, I'm, your friend's base. I have no problem with your friend. Live your life, have fun. He was in a swimsuit, okay. He accidentally walked into the frame for like, no, nah, no, nah, he was there. He felt comfortable in the frame, let's not lie. You turned the camera off. He was not naked, okay, nobody said he was. He is clearly an adult. Nobody said he wasn't. Oh, okay, he said he's not a worker. Okay, I, I didn't know. Here is the dude, the doctor, with of course like all this wokeism and all. Yeah, I, this isn't wokeism. So let me. It, I don't know that it's wokeism. So let me rephrase that. <laughs> but there he is with Brandon and and Miss Brandon. Cheesing. Throughout the pandemic, I've balanced. I didn't realize it was gonna be this long. Whatever. Throughout the pandemic, I've balanced my work as a hospital physician, my public service on the board of supervisors, and caring for my aging father in Michigan. I'm waiting for the stochastic terrorism. That's where it's probably gonna come next. I haven't read any of this yet. What they've been doing it, Eric Swalwell was on TV talking about, I got all these people talking to do bad things about me or whatever, which I'm not condoning, but that doesn't have to do with the substance of anything. All these people got crazy bots and people threatening to do stuff. And Marjorie Taylor Greene got swatted like nine times. Tim Pool gets swatted. I mean, that happens to a lot of people. That has required me to participate in a number of board meetings remotely. Oh, okay. You're caring for a lot more than just your aging father though. And even now that I'm on vacation after working the night shift at my hospital over the holidays, okay. So he's gonna come back and like, I work hard though. It's okay. I continue to take my commitment to constituents seriously the friend who joined me on uh my holiday accidentally walked on camera we've all had family pets friends and other aspects of life collide with an online meeting you're right you're right this deserves a good laugh nothing more who hasn't been on a zoom call like an important zoom call where the whole state of Arizona might be watching or it's archived for, for people to see or, you know, it could blow up to a national story. Who's not been on a Zoom call and accidentally had their 24, 24 year old boy toy just walk in and start flexing their muscles and start clowning on camera? It's happened to everyone. Don't make a big deal out of it. Let's be fair. More pictures here. Oh, look at the, with the puppy. <laughs> that look on his face though 
I would I I guarantee you it was not nice when he got when he put that camera when he put that mute on. I want to know, Dr. Hines, what happened when you put the mute on? He, he mentioned how hard he works three full times job. Yeah, that's why you got to relax with your friend. <laughs> Live your life, bro. I ain't got no problem with you. We laugh. Like you said, we're going to get a laugh out of it. Live your life.